now we see here Muslims getting busy um, in the human trafficking uh, trade here with Eastern Europe. At least there are police here trying to get on top of basically normal Islamic uh, trading. This is what they do all around the world. Um, but they can only get to maybe 16, 17 year olds. Um, they're not quite at the 8, 9, 10 year olds yet. <laughs> Thank God. But uh, at least at, I think it's four um, flats there were uh, raided because um, women were being married to Muslim men and then just being uh, used as sex workers. So. Yeah, at least there's been some success um, with the police clamping down there. Okay, what we're going to learn from this video is that in uh, the Muslim culture and Islam is prohibited to have a sense of humour. Um, you cannot laugh and have a sense of humour about anything that you must take absolutely everything more serious than life itself um, so it sounds a bit idolatrous to me to be honest uh, that's my opinion about it um, so I'm just going to discover a really nice guy called uh, Jug Raj that a uh, couple of the Islamics are talking to him and uh, I really like the way he approaches things um, in the Sikh religion they say that God is going to judge all thoughts all actions and all words which is actually what Jesus Christ taught which is what the Bible teaches so um, I think that the Sikh religion has a, a lot in common uh, with what Jesus taught and with what the Bible actually teaches um, but not with the Quran, unfortunately. Let's just let it run and see what happens. I think, I think the main thing is this here, is that if we look into it, I'm really sorry. sorry. The thing is, because we're going back and forth, the main thing we do is very simple. We talk with the Christians as well. We go to the scriptures, we go to the Quran, we go to your religious scriptures. Okay, if the scriptures, if we can prove that the Quran is from Allah, the matter of Tawheed, what you say, oh, is this right or wrong? We take it all. Like, for example, if I prove to you the Quran is from Allah, you, ha you can't pick and choose what you like. Whatever I showed you, and I said, for example, Tawheed is worshipping Allah in his powers and everything that he does. Singling out Allah in worship, his names and attributes. When we go to the scriptures, and if I prove to you, my scripture is correct, you can't say... Because, and same with you, same Ali, with you. Ali, yeah? Sorry, because I know your name. Yeah, yeah. You can't, I don't know your name, what's your name? Uh, Jagraj. Jagraj. Okay, what the guy goes on to say here is that the Quran is from the beginning. In other words, that it existed before even the, you know, the world began. So he says from day one the Quran existed. This is a Muslim doctrine and uh, what this actually teaches, whether they realize it or not, is a duality. Um, is that the, the Creator existed from the beginning and so did his written word. Not his living word, Jesus Christ as the Bible teaches. Um, who basically narrated the Bible through the Holy Spirit. Um, Jesus Christ is God's living word but what we have in the Quran is the written word existed um, before anything else and so it's there equal with God himself which uh, is ridiculous because you know an actual fact there was about 10 original narrators of the Quran um, and it was added to later on as well by other Muslims and they used a lot of Christian and Jewish context as well how do you say your name? Jug Raj. Like Jug, a Jug and then the Raj. Jug 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 Raj. They're sort of any space putting arms where this is, you know, this this is like uh, Islamic charm, if you like. 
Well, let me just explain something to you, right? Yeah. What, the, what comes out from talking to you? Yes, go ahead. Is that you were talking about how how come it came later and not at the beginning? But in a way, many Muslims. There you go. So now everybody knows the Quran came later and not at the beginning, but these guys keep saying it's from the beginning, even though we didn't have it until the sixth century. Sixth century. That's when we had the Quran. It wasn't there from day one. Okay. This guy looks a bit challenged, doesn't he? This guy got... I would say he's on verging and having a sense of humour. But this guy looks really challenged. Let's see how it goes. ...are kind of making a very similar argument that... And, and it may be that you say, oh no, no, that's not true, but it's another way. But it's a very similar argument that the truth came with the Prophet Muhammad because everybody else was corrupted. No, 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 right? no, 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 no. But here, it's, but no, 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 no. listen, it's very similar to my argument. No, it's not. Because you said all the scriptures got corrupted, but they had the truth. Can I tell you? We, hold on, because at the beginning of Guru Granth Sahib, because you seem to have read Ajuni, right? That's at the beginning, yeah? You might have heard the other word. Ah, the such a juga, the such a hair, be such an honor, course, be such. Such means truth. Which is at the beginning, such. at and the beginning God of time, is, God is such, God is such. Yeah. and then Sikhi is such. And that's from the well, fire, by the way. Sikhi is such okay, as well, at the beginning happen, of time. Happen. And then, at the at time, when time started... So Jar Raj goes on to say that men are the ones who can be corrupted, but the Muslims are sticking with uh, that the Quran cannot be corrupted. You see, cannot be corrupted, and all the messengers in the Quran, even though the Quran states that there's messengers in there that have sinned, including Muhammad because he thought that uh, he was getting revelation from God and it turned out to be Satan later on, so he was mistaken. But uh, yeah, um, I think the guy on the right possibly on the mineral water, the guy on the left probably on the fire water by the looks of it. Even though the Quran actually copied things from uh, Christian and Jewish manuscripts later on, yeah, but they don't know that it just appear they, they say that it appeared from the beginning of time and that uh, even though they don't believe in the trinity they believe in a duality because only god existed in the beginning but they're saying that also the quran existed in the beginning so they believe in a duality that god is uh, um, the creator and they also believe that uh, his word is written down word not the word of God that Christians believe, which is Jesus Christ, but the written down Quran existed in the beginning as well. Because this guy is saying that, see, that even God's messengers um, didn't live up to all the things that that they were, they were shown to do. In other words, that they fell short. So this guy is closer to the truth than them, okay? Because these guys are blinded by certain things which yeah. are written in the Quran, a shame they can't focus on what's written about Jesus, right? It's only um, according to their sect of Islam, okay, and there's a three main sects and there's, there's, there's a fourth I think as well which they completely ignore. Let's continue. Then Sikhi was also true. And then now it's true and forever it will be true. Okay, so a saying, Sikh believes... Hesitation. No, no. A what Sikh believes that the I, Sikh view Jagra. was true from the beginning. Can, can, can Only thing is, some people did have access to that truth. Yes. Uh, for example, I'll give you an example of a guy that found the truth. Yeah. His name was Mansur. Mansur was a Sufi. Yeah? Unfortunately for Mansur, he stood up one day, opened up his jacket and he goes, An al -haq. And he blew himself up. No, no, no. <laughs> so he opened his jacket and he goes... Now, how is that funny? I mean, you're getting Muslim terrorists. I mean, I know I said they had a sense of humor, but I mean, come on. So, so the guy's explaining his his, you know, non-aggressive, non-violent religion to this guy, who just uh, laughs at violence, obviously, sex and violence. I wonder if what kind of movies he watches. Maybe he just reads the Quran, but he finds that funny blowing yourself up. I, I, I you know. 70 virgins in heaven for blowing yourself up. I mean, this is this is the this is the Muslim sense of humor. Yeah I am one with the truth. I am the truth. Yeah. He didn't get blown up. He got killed in a very terrible way by the okay. Islamic uh, Terrorists at that time. They killed him. Okay, they chopped him into pieces yeah. for saying that he is the truth he was saying You see that so these got these Islamic guys not them in particular, but you know the nation of Islam killed one of one of the gurus from his religion by chopping them up into pieces, this guy still thinks it's funny. Now, that 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 didn't. This guy still looks a bit challenged. 
it almost looks as if well I haven't tried that before maybe I'll maybe I'll kind of try that in the future this guy still thinks it's funny being chopped into pieces for for your beliefs okay um, quite incredible he's still got the stuffed hamster in his face as well I know what I'd do with it no, but we got that. Okay, but are you, are you, so this way has been around in every way. Okay. So it's not that we're saying that we're the only ones that found it. Fine. We're just saying let that the Ali, Guru gave it you. in no, a perfect are, way. Are you, are you saying why did the, the truth, if it was there from the beginning, yeah. why did it come like uh, 16 <laughs> years ago? Is that what you're saying? Because I said that earlier. You said he just looks at the face. He just, he just wants to say that. You know, he just wants to scream it. Ah. <laughs> You said the scriptures got corrupted. Okay, can I tell you why? I said prophets got corrupted. Okay, let me tell you why. Okay, the, the truth that we believe in Islam. Yeah, Islam has been there from day one. What are the strong you believe? You know what we believe? No, no, no. Okay, you don't believe. I'm telling you what. I never tell you to believe that. <laughs> yeah, so what I'm trying to say is Islam has been there from day one. That's why when we say... I mean, this, the, the Islamic sense of humor takes probably about 10,000 years to get used to. So, you know, I don't even know what this guy... I don't even think he understands what he's laughing at, but... Yeah. Jesus was a Muslim, the Christians get confused. They're like, what do you mean he was a Muslim? He's a Christian. Like, You're not understanding yeah, what understand, I mean. Yeah, yeah. The so one who submits his will to God is a Muslim because Jesus said, I do not say. Yeah. He, he says, I don't say nothing for myself. Because Jesus said in his scripture, I don't. What if you took one of his sideburns and stuck it up there? Wouldn't that be funny? And maybe took this sideburn and uh, stuck it over here, just stuck it right there over his forehead, stuck this one right there. I think that'd be hilarious. I don't see nothing of myself. As I hear, so Jesus was a Muslim. So what we see is God Almighty existed. He sent down prophets. Yes. And with some. If that's not the funniest thing you've ever heard in your life, uh, I don't know what it is. He just said that Jesus was a Muslim, even though uh, Islam. As we, as we know from history, everybody in the entire world knows Islam wasn't a established, organized religion until the 6th century. But this guy thinks that Jesus was a Muslim. I mean, come on. Come on. Look at this guy over here. He looks as if he's just, like, seen the devil himself. And, and you know, in, in Sikhism, they don't believe in the devil, but he's looking at him as if, this guy is the devil. <laughs> I've just seen the devil. And they'll probably talk about it later on. But anyhow. Cool. Some of the prophets and messengers he gave them scriptures. Right. Those scriptures were not were meant for those people at that time. Right. So what happened is once a scripture came, it would prophesy. That's not nice. The camera's recording. Have some decency. Learn from the brother some manners. Yeah. What the guy was just wanting? He was just holding a card up for crying out loud. You know. I don't know. I want you to be carefully. Anyway, sorry. So what I'm trying to I'm, I'm so sorry, forgive me. Yeah? So the prophet comes, the messenger comes with the scripture. Yeah, yeah. In well, that was a perfect message over the old time came. For those specific Muhammad. times, because if God Almighty finished uh, in his plan, there was other prophets that were going to yeah, come. Fair other messengers were going to come. Yeah. So for example, with the Old Testament, the Old Testament was given yeah. to uh, uh, Moses with the Ten Commandments, etc. Right, right. And it was prophesied of another prophet that will come. Again, uh, in Islam, they do not keep the Ten Commandments. They actually keep the Roman calendar according to their religion, and this is why we know uh, from history that uh, there was a lot of uh, Roman Catholic scribes involved in writing the Quran, and uh, in Islam they use the Roman calendar. They have no original calendar like these guys. These guys have a better understanding of time, uh, concept of time, calendar-wise. They know that God exists outside of time. They know that He can exist inside this realm as well so that guy's just standing there going nothing I've never seen before never heard before this guy looks as if you know he's uh, kind of kind of losing I suppose the whatever argument they think that they're putting forward all the guy has to do is just stand there and he's won the argument because Islam is just such a self-condemning um, religion and it wants to condemn everything else around it it's self condemning and it wants to condemn everything and everyone around it that's why if the whole world was uh, Islamic probably everybody would be dead by the next day because all they do is argue all they do is contend all they do is basically kill each other
So the idea of atonement yeah, yeah, is repulsive, that. is repulsive to Paul. So I'm going to read some verses from the Hadith that tells you how Islam is going to get their sins paid for. This is your version of atonement. I'm going to help you out. I'm going to tell you where it is. Check it out yourself. I'm not inventing this or making this up. Allah will deliver to every Muslim a Jew or a Christian and say that this is your rescue from hellfire. Allah's apostle said no Muslim would die, but Allah will admit in his, seat, in, his, in his stead a Jew or a Christian in hellfire. In order for a Muslim to make it into heaven, a Christian or a Jew will be thrown into hellfire to pay for the sin of a Muslim. You did not know this, but it is in there. That is your Sahih Muslim, your highest form of your Hadith uh, authority that uh, you rely on. Here's another one. Allah's Messenger said there would come people amongst the Muslims on the day of resurrection, that's on the day of judgment, with as heavy sins as a mountain. So you guys are, the Muslim is going to go to God with as many sins as the mountain. And Allah would forgive them and He would place in their stead the Jew, Jews and Christians. Listen, if you are a Muslim and you think you're going to make it into heaven without atoning for your sin, you're delusional because a Christian is going to pay for it in order for you to make it. This is your own material. I'm not making this up. Allah's Messenger said on the day of resurrection, my Ummah, that's the body of Muslims, will be gathered into three groups. One sort will, be, will enter paradise without rending an account of their deeds. That means some people will get a free pass because Allah will just let their sins slide. Then another sort will be reckoned an easy account and admitted into paradise. Yet another sort will come bearing on their backs heaps of sin like great mountains. Allah will ask the angels, though he knows best about them, who are these people? They will reply, they are humble slaves of yours. He will say, unload the sins of them and put the sin over the Jews and Christian and let the humble slaves Muslim into paradise by virtue of mercy. You guys are under the illusion that you're going to have a free pass because God just says that. Yes, I am.